Welcome back. Today we will provide you a mock interview to help you prepare for your citizenship interview during this pandemic. Good morning. How can I help you today? Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. What time is your appointment? 11.30. Just please wait for another 15 minutes. We're only allowing applicants to come into the facility 15 minutes before their appointment. Okay, thank you. I will wait outside then. Hi again, I am back. Can I see your appointment letter and your ID, please? Sure, here you go. I just have a few questions for you before letting you in, and please answer them truthfully. And if you answer not to any of these questions, we have to reschedule your appointment to another day. Of course. Now, have you had any symptoms of COVID-19, including cough, fever, or difficulty breathing? No. Have you been in close contact with anyone known or suspected to have COVID-19 in the last 14 days? No. Have you been directed to self-quarantine or self-isolate by a healthcare provider or public health official within the last 14 days? No. Have you traveled outside of the United States in the last 14 days? No. Great. You can come in now. Thank you. Uh, just please make sure to have your mask on the whole time. And please put all of your belongings into that bin. And then just walk through the metal detector. Okay. Please take all your belongings. Thank you. Here is your appointment letter and your ID. Thank you. And please follow the markings on the floor to the customer service windows on your left. Okay, thank you. Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Great. Can I have your appointment letter and your green card, please? Sure, here you go. Can you please put your left index finger on the scanner for me? Sure. Thank you. Now, please remove your mask and look at the camera. I need to take a picture of you. Great, thank you. You can put your mask back on now. Thank you. Here's your letter, your green card, and your number. Please have a seat. We will call you when your appointment is ready. Again, please make sure to have your mask on the entire time, unless instructed otherwise, and practice social distancing. Thank you. B-45, Adam Luis. That's me. Good morning. I'm Officer Maria, and I will conduct your interview today. How are you doing? Good morning, officer. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. And you? I'm great, too. Please follow me. Of course. Please come in and remain standing. Before we start our interview, I need you to take the oath. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Great. Please take a seat. Thank you.
Let's go over some logistics before we start the interview. First, please make sure to have your mask on the entire time. Second, if I ask to see any documents, please put it against the plexiglass window to show me. Lastly, there's a tablet in front of you. From time to time, I will ask you to verify or sign a few documents. Okay. Do you have any questions before we start? Not. I don't have any questions. Can you show me your passport, your green card, and your state-issued ID? Sure, officer. Here they are. Thank you. Do you know why you are here? I'm here for my citizenship interview. Great. How did you get here today? I drove myself. Great. Let us do the civics test. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready, but a little nervous. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. Great. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. Correct. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. Good. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star-Spangled Banner. Who was president during World War I? Could you please repeat the question? Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Correct. There were 13 original states. Name three. New York. New Hampshire. New Jersey. Perfect. You pass the civics test. Thank you. Let's move on to the English reading and writing test then. First, read the sentence on the tablet in front of you. Who was George Washington? Good. Now write the sentence I read to you on the tablet. Washington was the first president. Washington was the first president. Excellent. You passed the English reading and writing test also. Thank you. Now, let's go over your application. Please let me know if any of your answers have changed since submitting the application. Okay. How long have you been a lawful permanent resident? I have been a lawful permanent resident for about six years. When did you become a permanent resident? Since February 11, 2015. Okay. What is your full name, please? Adam Louise. Have you used any other name? No. Do you want to legally change your name? Not, thank you. What is your date of birth? October 10, 1990. And where were you born? Spain. What's your current address? 152 Beacon Street. Apartment 5, Boston, Massachusetts, 02158. How long have you been living at this address? Almost two years. Has your address changed since you submitted your application? No. 
What is your phone number? 617-759-5778. Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? No, they are not. Are you currently employed? Yes, I am. What is your work? I'm a graphic designer at CHC Company. How long have you been working there? Uh, about three years. Have you spent any time outside of the United States for the past five years? Yes, I have. How many trips have you taken for the past five years? I have taken two trips. Have you taken any trips since you applied for citizenship? No, I haven't. Okay. Are you currently single, married, divorced, or widowed? I'm single. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, I have not. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No, I have not. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Adam Louise. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No, I have not. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party terrorist organization? No, I have not. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No, I have not. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No, I have not. Did you ever register for the Selective Services? Adam Louise. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? I'm willing to. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to. Great. There will be some papers coming out of the printer. Please make sure to review all of the answers and confirm they are accurate. Then sign and date the last page. Okay. Everything looks good, and I signed it and dated it. Well, congratulations. You passed the interview and I will recommend your application for approval. Thank you so much, officer. You're welcome. I have a question. Do you know when I will be able to take the oath ceremony? Unfortunately, our facility does not offer same-day oath ceremonies. If your application gets approved, you will be scheduled for the oath ceremony within a week or two. Okay, great. Thank you, officer. When you are ready, you can leave the room and go back out. Just make sure to put your mask on before you leave. Thank you. I will. Have a great day, and thank you again, officer. You are very welcome. Good luck. <laughs>